Are you guys fucking ready for this shit? You know what we're doing? Hold on, let me let me let me B button to cancel and, and just show you. Um can I not? I guess I can't. I probably should have uh Damn it. What a shitty beginning to 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 a fucking let's play. Hold on. Let me reset the system real quick and see what happens. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's let's take 2 here. It's fucking Illusion of Gaia. A game that does not get nearly its due, in my opinion, and I am so fucking excited to be playing it. Um, and uh, it's going to be, you know, a nice, quick, old school uh, RPG playthrough. I don't anticipate it'll take more than 30 episodes. Uh, and yeah, we're going to have some fun. Um, I should probably erase one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is happening. Uh yeah. School. I don't want to be in school. His name is Will. A year has passed since he went to the Tower of Babel with his father. Um, they actually secularized this. In the original version, it was in a church, I think, or something. I can't remember if that was the original JP version or the original North American version. Anyway, so this game is, um, it's an old uh, SNES uh, sort of adventure RPG Kind of, it's kind of Zelda-ish, but not really. Um, and uh, basically, it, it takes place in uh, it takes place in kind of a, a stylized real world. Like there's real world locations in this game, like from the actual planet Earth in real life, but they're rearranged and repurposed and stuff. And it's you know uh, kind of unique to. Uh, the story, but, um, so, um, you play as Will, which is the guy on the far left, and, um, these are all his buddies. You got Seth, that's there on the far right, uh, Eric's, uh, second from the right, and, uh, next to me is Lance, and, um, I'm not equipped, yeah, okay, I know. Okay, but the seashores, yes, so they all, they have this, um, please recite with me, world, okay, I don't know what weird hokey religion you're trying to, just, really, really, I find that offensive, okay, um, damn it, anyway, so this is a very simple game, like, you only play as Will, um, Will gets additional, I guess, forms, you could call them. Um, you yeah, know, you can run around and dash like that. Um, and, uh, you crawl through dungeons, you kill things, you don't level up, you just get your stats level up, uh, as opposed to, uh, you leveling up. And, uh, you explore towns. The story is really good. Like, I love the story. Um, but in terms of the combat and the RPG elements, it's very simple, which, you know, it's fine. Um, and, uh, yeah. This girl's really weird. I used to, I used to get like really creeped out by her because I was like, what is she doing? Is she like having like this weird, like selfish spoiled girl moment or something? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> This <laughs> time, oh uh, yeah, and you get to scare all the adults in the village. Um, and there are 
And there are things to find here, uh, which I should actually probably... Um, I do want to try and get a perfect playthrough on this. And yeah. <laughs> you have a habit of jumping. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want to have that habit. That's a, that's a terrible habit to have. You want to talk about poor choices? And this guy. Is that right? How do you do? Once you hold up the red jewels, you'll come running to my place. You'll have to come running to my place. That famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. I bet I wouldn't. Let me give you some? Yeah, there's some weird dialogue in this game that doesn't make sense. But it doesn't seem like it's translation related. Yeah, Seth, Seth's parents are uh, future divorcees. Okay. Gosh, I can't pull it up. Oh, this guy has something. He has a thing. Natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. Usually when the lessons are done at school, they gather here to talk and play games until sundown. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay. So this is going to be boring to watch, but um, basically what has to happen here is I have to uh, basically run in and out until this guy... Um finally pulls up while he's fishing. But, uh... I'm actually not 100% sure if it's possible right now. I'm, I may have to wait until after the scene in the cave. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. What is it? Well, it's late. Sorry, I just want to play some crazy eights with you, man. He's gonna win again for sure. Cocky. This this game is also very dramatic in its dialogue. Ah, big news! Big news! Princess of Edward Castle has run away. Oh no. Uh, all right, man. Well, do you have any? You have any naked pictures of her or anything? I mean, since you came to the South Cape, okay, well, what do you want to do? <laughs> That's all. Really big it happened. You know, we've, we've all been laid at least once this week. Just because you're still a virgin doesn't mean that the rest of us are interested, buddy. Princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara, that you like, the one that you like so much. Liar! <laughs> uh, I want to steal helmet too. Yeah, okay. All right, everybody. You know, whatever makes you happy. All right. Get over. Get over here and sit next. We need to get over here. All right, so Seth is gay, which is absolutely fine. But I mean, there's no reason you have to be a dick about it. I'll be there for you, buddy. I mean, not in that way, but you know. If you haven't seen it. You can move things without touching them. You haven't seen the main character, the only non-NPC in the game, Special Power? Oh, he, he should totally know about this, so we should talk about it and let him know that he can use telekinetic. I mean, it's okay game design, I suppose. <laughs> I love that they all hop up and down. Pick a card, any card. Face down, pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. I'm pretty sure they're all, they're all Ace of Diamonds. Dude, if I had cards that made that sound when I plopped them down on the ground, 
I'd make sure I kept the receipt. Taste of diamonds, of course. <laughs> Some type of psychic power, right? Seth. Seth, use Psybeam. Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Yeah, Will, Will just happens to have some sort of sixth sense, guys. Sixth sense. It's kind of a hard, hard phrase to say. Yeah, I'm too much of a dumbass. He's going to have to dumb it down for me. If only I could do that. I could get in Kara's pants with my little... 12 year old penis. He's gonna win again for sure. Yeah. Alright. Already dark by the time we left the cave. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I don't care. want that fisherman to fucking catch his little thing. What really sucks is sometimes you run out there and reflexively you run back in. Because uh, you're trying to get it to happen. Um, come on. I think he changes locations at one point. Yeah, there's these items that you collect throughout the game called oh, hell yeah oh man that's the fastest i've ever found it yeah when you collect red jewels you get you get a secret at the end of the game i won't tell you what it is but that's like the main uh missable uh thing in the game uh there's no equipment there's no uh i mean uh, there's no stores the game's really simple um yeah there's the other one Um, but it's a, uh, it's a fantastic game. I fucking love it. This is one of the, uh, this is one of the first RPGs I ever played. I remember like, you know, when I was playing this, like my great grandparents were still alive. Uh, nice smell. No stoves. I'm cooking in this pot. I mean, how are you cooking? What? What? Do you just have a bunch of live coals in there with your food? I don't see a fire underneath there. You're weird. <laughs> are you guys homeless? Why are you hovering around over that pot? So many weapons to fight demons. Sell a weapon to a child. Oh, well, fine. Fuck you. I got psychic power. I don't fucking need you. And Eric lives here. Yeah, my rich, my rich suburban friend Eric. This really is a big house. Shit. This is big even by like modern standards. Don't worry, I'm not on fire. It would only look like that to a person witnessing this as a video game. Like, if, if you were actually Will standing right there looking at her, like, you wouldn't think she was on fire. Yeah, whatever. You creepy girls again. God, why are you always there, like, when I jump down? It's the reason you're getting scared. Oh. <laughs> oh man so these are Seth's parents the ones that fight a lot all the men in this village have blue hair by the way what's wrong with having a little fun with my hard earned money I mean nothing man nothing 
It's all right, bro. I mean, what do you what do you mean by a little fun? I don't know. All right. It's no joke, that man. <laughs> That's not good. You should get out of that relationship. Okay, so this must be Lance's house. I need to... Because that's where the other jewel is. Seems like only yesterday. So one of these has... Yeah, alright, cool. Just gonna say the same thing to me downstairs as in upstairs? I mean, okay, fine. Where do you and Lance sleep, by the way? are weirdos. Weirdos. Hi the yeah. I thought you said I thought you said pie, not pig. Why is there a pig in my house? Oink oink. Oink oink. Can I have some bacon? I could I could definitely go for some bacon right now. Hey. What the fuck are you doing? Snort? You look a little shabby. Yeah, see this is this is Princess Kara and she is uh she is a bitch. <laughs> He's like it's like, hey, what's up? Is this your house? Uh yeah. Frankly, you look like shit. Bye! Is this a picture of your parents? They look shabby too. Ullman. Greg Ullman. <laughs> uh, yeah. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No? I'd be sad if it were me. I'm sorry. I mean, don't be sorry. I'm just shabby. Yeah, I jammed on it. They're singing upstairs. Now. Is this your house? You're shabby. Your grandparents are shabby. They have loud voices. They're singing upstairs now. Bye. That was the conversation. Dinner's not... Oh. You're not making much progress on that up here in my bedroom. This is not the kitchen. No, whoa, 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 whoa. A scream from downstairs. Yeah, see, I love the dramatic, like, narration in between the actual dialogue. <laughs> they just mosey down there. Princess, been looking for you. I don't know you. Be gone. What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. I don't think that's intended to be a question. <laughs> you think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. <laughs> she just kind of gets. She just kind of moonwalks away. Look at the soldier's face right here. Look at the soldier. Didn't, didn't the soldier kind of look like he has like a bulldog face? Like with the upturned canines up front? I mean, yeah, I got that. I feel as, I feel as though, I feel as though you've put your penis in me before. I remember that penis. It was wrinkly because you're a penis wrinkle. <laughs> I cracked myself up way too much. Although I'm not really cracking myself up. Because I'm not that funny. You can't pull it. I mean, 
That's what he said. Sounds like a personal problem. My buddies have anything new to say? Seaside Cave. Once more, one more game with Seth and I'm going home. Yeah, I'm gonna win again for sure. You can tell this game's gonna be awesome, right? Right? Alright. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll be back soon. Later, guys.